to my channel and welcome to a little bit of a different spot today. I'm filming in my bedroom because I'm actually going to be reviewing and unboxing and showing you what I think of the Emma mattress. So Emma actually sent me the Emma mattress and the two pillows behind me and I'm going to be telling you what I think of them and how they are and if they're worth purchasing. If you've been looking and researching on looking for a mattress or in particular looking to purchase an Emma mattress but you'd like to see a little bit more of if it's worth it and if it would suit you then this is what today's video is about so I hope that I can be helpful to you if you are considering purchasing one. So I'm going to start with the actual mattress so when we got this delivered when we was unboxing it I did get Jonathan to help me it comes in a big box and it's really easy to just get out the box. It's quite heavy, so I did get Jonathan to help me just in case I put me back out. But it probably wasn't too bad. I probably could have tried to do it myself, but I would say to get somebody to probably help you lift it upstairs or anything like that. So when we first took it out the box, we, it did come with a little tool that helps you take off the packaging. I didn't actually realise, I took the, the tool out and didn't actually use the tool. I used scissors because I didn't realise and then I realised after. So I'm letting you know that, that's why I'm telling you, to make sure you use that, it makes it easier. And once we unpackaged it and unravelled and put it on the bed, it just, it's so easy to be honest with you, it just did the job. It went onto the bed easy and then it started to inflate once we were taking the packaging off. I did leave the mattress for around about six to eight hours or so, something like that. I left it during the day, obviously we didn't need to lay on it in the day, to rise as much as possible. And it seemed to have risen quite quickly anyway, so it was quite good like that. So yeah, with a box mattress, it obviously, like I said, comes in a box. And it is quite convenient because if you are coming up the stairs and stuff, you don't really want to have a big mattress where you have to try and remove it around. Whereas it comes in quite compact. It's a big box, but it's compact enough for you to lift it um, up the stairs and things like that. When we first slept on it, now I've got, I've done a lot of research re very recently actually for, well, for a long time on getting a new mattress because my mattress was quite old. I was due to get a new one and I was noticing that I was waking up every day and my back was really bad. And if you remember last year or the year before, last year and the year before, I was waking up a lot and having a stiff neck. And I realized I was putting it down to the mattress and my pillar situation because all of a sudden I was getting that quite frequent. And when I was pregnant with Harrison, I actually had a car accident, which after I'd given birth to him from the car accident, I did actually have a back problem. And it doesn't affect me all the time, but obviously if I've got a bad sleeping situation, I've noticed it plays up more and it will sort of play me up a little bit more. So I did think I need to get a really good, I need to invest in a good mattress and a good set of pillows. And then Emma obviously contacted me and I thought, perfect. I've seen Emma mattress pop up everywhere. It's on Witch, it's everywhere that people review it all the time. And I thought it's actually quite a good fit. So I wanted to test it myself. But one of the big features that it has is that it actually allows you to trial for 200 nights. So you can sleep on it for 200 nights. And if it, anything's wrong with it, or you think it doesn't suit you, you can send it back, which I think is amazing because how else can you trial out a mattress? I mean, it's not easy <laughs> to try it out before you think, oh, have I wasted my money? It's quite a big purchase. So that gives you the insurance that you can trust Emma that the, the mattress is going to be good enough because they believe that you can have it for 200 nights and you're not going to send that back. So I think that that's really good. They also give you a 10-year guarantee. Now, you need to change your mattress every 8 to 10 years or so, something like that. And to give a 10 year ma uh, guarantee, mattress guarantee, that tells you as well that you're gonna have it for the lifespan of how long you need to have it for before you have to change your mattress anyway, which I think is brilliant as well. Another assurance of trusting Emma and all of that, I think that's brilliant. Another feature that I really like about the mattress is um, the fact it has covers on it. So it has a cover where you can zip all the way around, take it off and pop it in the wash. Brilliant idea. My last mattress got quite horrible and filthy. I used to try and clean it because I couldn't take the cover off. I used to, have to try and clean it on with it on the mattress. And in the end, all it does is it, it goes through. Because if you're putting water and things like that on a mattress, it's going to go through to the foam or to the, you know, to the actual bed and it can make it quite horrible. So it can ruin it and it can probably stain your 
your mattress as well, even worse. I found that with my last one. So it's really, really good that you, and so handy that you can take the covers off and put, pop them in the wash. I think that's brilliant because it will last longer, it'll look cleaner for longer and all of that. So I think that's a really good feature it has as well. And with my bag back, so when it come to me first sleeping on this on the first night, I was a bit worried because I was like, I laid on it and I thought this feels really firm. And obviously my last mattress was so bad that it was quite squishy, which was a bad thing. So even though you kind of always think about, about a mattress, you kind of think I want the softest, cloudiest thing. It's not always good for your posture and your back and everything else. Now, when I, like I said, I thought it was firm, but it wasn't. It was just the way it needed to be because it's got like a foam at the top. So it's soft, but it just felt like I was laying and I wasn't indenting it, which again is a good thing. Um, and I then realised quite quickly that it's not firm in the way that it wouldn't suit me. It was just the right amount to support me and to align my back so that I have a good night's sleep. I don't get woken up in the night by moving around and I feel rested and don't have a bad back when I get up in the morning. So that's been a really good thing as well since I've been using this. When there is someone, when you're sharing the bed with somebody else, I'm personally, so I'm quite light. And Jonathan's obviously heavier than me. He's a man. And his, when I used to be on my other mattress, you would feel every movement. If he moved, I moved. It was quite uncomfortable. But another good thing about this mattress I liked was the fact that when you're laying down, for starters, you don't really indent the bed. Um, and when you're moving about, you can't feel. So when Jonathan moves in the bed, I can't feel him move, which I think is brilliant because it doesn't have like that bounce effect, which will wake you up in the night. Um, so that's good as well. Now I want to quickly talk to you about the pillows that they do have. These pillows, now I've done a lot of research on pillows, I will tell you that, um, as well as mattress and things like that. I think it is so worthwhile getting a good night's sleep. Um, I remember in my younger days, I'm not that old, but in my younger days, when I first got my flat when I was younger, I got the cheapest pillars, the cheapest mattress, because I was more interested in the look of my bed or the, you know, the covers that went on it. But I didn't realise, and probably as you get older, you do realise that comfort and having a good night's sleep is really important. Um, and when you do get things like bad back or bad neck, it really does affect your day the next day. So it just is so worth, by the way, investing in good pillows and good mattresses. But with these pillows, now I, first of all, was looking up good pillows because I don't know if you do the same but normally I buy a bulk of um pillars and they're normally like a budget friendly not cheap but just a budget friendly pack of four and then it sort of refreshes everyone within a month that's flat as a pancake it does nothing for my neck it actually really hurts me I usually have to use a couple of pillows and even that doesn't work and they go really grubby and really horrible they don't keep their bounce and their shape so what I have noticed is that when you do purchase pillows you need to make sure that you're looking at your sleeping position so there was I didn't realize until I was like researching that you have to have a pillow for the for the sleeping position so I normally sleep on my side and my belly but again it's more like on my side so I needed a side pillow now these box of pillows are perfect they've got the box um, shape they are perfect for side sleepers and sleeping on your belly because I alternate in the night but mainly my uh, side is where I sleep on and these are really really good um for that and I do think that purchasing spending more money on a, on a pillow if you think about it when you buy the bulk of budget and they last you a month at a time and you have a really rubbish sleep for another couple of months before you repurchase them again you think about how much these will, the more expensive ones would save you because they will last longer, they'll keep their shape and they actually help you and don't help hurt you and, you know, they don't give you a bad neck the next day like me. So I've noticed these are so nice. They keep bouncing back. I've been using them now since I've been using the mattress. So since I have been using these pillows, they have been helping me. I can't even tell you. They're quite soft, which is a good thing is it bounces up and they sort of shape around you but they bounce back really quickly they're so soft on the cover so they have a cover that you can unzip and then you wash that cover and inside is all of the inserts that would make it really comfortable it's almost like there's like a few pillars in there and then it has a padding on the cover so you can actually wash this which again is handy keeps it nice and clean lasts for longer i also really loved the piping on it it looks so smart um, so yeah, really love these pillows. So worth getting a good pillow and maybe look at 
how you sleep at night and what sort of pillow suits you best and things like that. So yeah, overall, with the mattress and the pillows, I do recommend them. The mattress, like I say, so worth it to get up and not have a bad back and have a good night's sleep, not be disturbed in the night, constantly with movement or creaking in the bed when someone's laying with you. So I really do recommend it. Uh, trust me, it is so worth getting something that is going to help you in the long run than it is to just get it for how cheap it is at the time. It won't last you as long and, or you'll be miserable for years with it. <laughs> so yeah, definitely worth investing in a better quality pillows and mattress. And like I said, I've done my research for a long, long time. And with the actual mattress design, I love the look of it. Um, it's just so clean looking and, and soft on the top. When you, you've got, um, they have handles at the side. So if you're gonna move around the, a mattress to do anything with it you can just use the handle to move which is really really good as well and yeah overall just really really good you get the assurance of 200 nights to trial it out first which is amazing you get a 10 year guarantee and i do actually have a discount code for you which i'll leave in the description all the links to the exact mattress that i've got and the pillows that i've got as well definitely check out emma they are so good i really would recommend you could also spread the cost with they have an option to spread the cost and things like that because things can be quite expensive but definitely use my discount code to get money off and i hope this this has helped you in your decision whether you are going to go along and purchase an Emma mattress if you've been thinking about it for a while or if you've been looking for mattress recommendations. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you do get it and what you think of it and if it's helped you in the night and give you a better night's sleep. So yeah, thank you to Emma for sponsoring today's video. And if you are new here, make sure you subscribe, give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. In a safe place.